Yeah. Can, it's seriously. I, I think we are going to miss MNK because MNK brings presence, pace, penetration. And we, are, we are going to miss him. Brown there for me, um, you know, he, he's... It's not, it's not that um, what class striker that we, we usually have then, with the likes of Rashid, Lace Rashid yes. Yekini, you know, the likes of Daniel Mokachi. How much pressure does this put on Mikel Obi? Because everybody mm -hmm. seems to be, he's like yeah. the, the focal point <laughs> of the team all of a sudden. He did very well at the Nations Cup, Definitely. but then he had a very sort of a strong unit around him. But right now, the unit is a lot weaker and the pressure is even more with the sort of opposition we're going to be playing. Yeah, that's 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 it. It, it, um, it boils down to tactics of the coach. You can now uh, you know, try to uh, put Mika in the, in, in the more advanced role, creative midfielder, now and have a, a um, um, defensive midfielder or cover for him because I, I Mikel can um, play, um, pull pinpoint passes. And if you have a um, clinic of strikers that can actually um, um, create space for them for, for themselves, I think Mikel can if you want to relieve Mikel from, from the pressure, just um. Put two um, players at the back of Mikel and let Mikel be in the more advanced role. Definitely, um, can put something out. Can Mikel be that person? Because <laughs> I doubt it. I, yeah, doubt it. I, 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 I don't want to disagree with him, but I have to like um, break something down here. Mikel has played as a defensive midfielder for yeah. seasons now, for years now. Now you he had a good nation. Yeah, he had a good nation. But he played as a defensive midfielder. He had on as a, as a as a side kick, and then um, Sunday Mbappe playing right in front of him. Now playing Mikel as an attacking midfielder, I, I don't want to say he has lost that creative spark. But for seasons that he has played as a defensive midfielder, let him stay there. He's much more comfortable there. What I can just say is this. Keshi has to look for a way to get fast wingers that can place the opposition on the back foot. In that way, the, 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 the tons of, um, will I say, pressure will be received, will be lowered. So, Mikel can still sit back as a defensive midfielder. In as much as we can get players like Ahmed Musa to 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 up their their game. He gave us a goal against Kenya, no doubt. But when, when I saw that match, up until that goal, I think I punched my last like, yeah, I'm trying minutes. to kill him. You know, like, you know I mean, we, we had to draw against yeah. Namibia. You know, I'm going to those days where you talk football, you talk African football, you talk Nigeria. But the question now is, uh, do we have that top-notch spirit? Can we really do it as the days of old? Remember, we've, we've the highest we've gone in this tournament is fourth position, yeah. you know, and and that was when it was still called the Fat Cup ahead, yeah. you know. <laughs> so that was long and ago. Well, yes, you know, ninety five after we won the um, Nations, yeah. 1994 Nations Cup. ninety ninety four Nations Cup. So that is one good thing about winning. You know, we never gave them a chance at the Na um, African Nations Cup just last year, January this year. So that's one good thing. Once you win, you go forward, you go forward, you keep going up, keep, keep climbing up yeah, the one, one important thing I think she just pointed out now, that my work for them is the fact that there's really no pressure on them because nobody will expect them to really to win. win. Yes. Except me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> how, much pre how, how much does that work for them, knowing that, that there's no pressure on them? That's one of the most dangerous things in football. You know, if, you're, if you have quality players, unknown quality players, you know, it's very because if for the, the likes of you, if they're playing against unknown players in Spy Goes, yeah, they'll be like, the defender will um, hop to your game. But now you're playing with some quality players, you know, in quote, yeah. unknown quality players. Definitely can't pull something out. The, uh, the, my hope definitely should be in the game against Tahiti. Now, if they can get, get as many goals as possible, <laughs> <laughs> but all this one zero one 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 zero one one that we've been going through, I, 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 I never can I tell. See another one one, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 they, if they can get three points against Tahiti, now the pressure will be against um, Uruguay, depending on the, uh, the um, result against uh, Uruguay Spain, versus Spain, Spain, depending on the week result. Now pressure can be on Uruguay the next game, but start says we don't have, we, we, we've not been playing well against um, um, the South American teams. We don't have good results against yeah. them. But we have um, a better results against the European, European teams. And we've beat Spain before. But, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, well, um, we, 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 does, that, does it work for us? Because I think we're playing Spain last. Yes. We played yes. Tahiti, then you guys. So yes. we build up gradually. Do you think that could be our winning point that we might qualify before playing? It's an advantage. Is it possible? It's an advantage. Should Spain go ahead to win their first two matches, they would play the last match with a lot of ease. Yeah. You know, no pressure on them, no nothing. So they could allow, actually allow us a lot of spaces and what have you. It's an advantage. It's 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 a huge one, and I think um, Keshi should capitalize on that. He needs to. I'm um, looking at the, the team going for this conversation. Yeah. I, a lot of people have said they didn't give Nigeria a chance. Um, doing this. I did because we had a more complete team. We had two fantastic wingers. We had two. We had, we had the best of midfielders. We had Ananasi, Efego Gude, we had Mikel Lobia, we had the, lots of them. Ananasi is not there anymore. No, <laughs> that's what I'm at now. <laughs> now at, at the Confucius Cup now, we are not having three key players. Emineke is missing. Victor Moses, the, the, the playmaker that really did a lot of Victor job Moses for us there. Victor Moses just broke my heart. And, oh. and, 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 and Emineke. Now, this is it. What, what is the expectation? For me, should the boys stick together? If you don't consider goal, you can't lose a match. It's, it's a basic rule. 
Should they win against Tahiti, which I pray they do, stick together against Uruguay, get a draw, get a draw against Spain, they would get through to the next phase. And should they get to the next phase? I see something. them winning the cup. No. And remember, <laughs> so, remember. Brazil, Italy, Japan, uh, right? This is Brazil, this Italy, Japan, Mexico. 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 This, this, Mexico. Mexico. this Mexico. is not what it used to be. I don't think, definitely. It looks it tougher. Like, you know? the grass is not green. on the other side. But let's go through this first. And we shouldn't underrate Haiti. Remember, they are the Oceania's yeah. champions. And football is not mathematics. There are no minus well, anymore. I'm sorry, but the Oceania region is weak. Australia left them for a reason to Asia, right? We have no excuse. We just need to win that game. We have no excuse. That's that's the turning point for us in this tournament. If we win that game, it's gonna be the turning point. Because I, th I think that's important. Seeing where we are yeah. coming from with oh. the with the um, deals disputes, uh, what we are wages yeah. and all of that, a we need something to bring them back in that game. A and if there's a draw there, I think we just forget the other two. Oh, games. Just forget. <laughs> what is fundamental? <laughs> they must not underestimate that heat. Yes. Yeah. I, I saw the match against Kenya in Calabar. And you, know, <laughs> you can imagine uh, the goalkeeper telling us he wasn't expecting such a free kick from Kenya. You know, it's, it's, it's atrocious. So they must get their acts together. And you know, every team is a team. It's 11 against 11. Yeah. So they must not underestimate that. Which team. three people do you think will be the key to Nigeria doing well in the tournament? Ah, great question. Um, Kenneth Omeru, John Mikelobi, and I'm looking at Udo Amadi. Yeah, Udramadi came in and he's actually and had a very uncle. big effect on the team since he joined them. He, gave, he gave us a lifeline sure. um, in yes. Calabar. Yes. Remember. And even against, against Kenya against as well, Kenya he was well. pretty good in Kenya. Yeah. Your three players, who do you think would be the difference? Well, if Hamed and Musa can um, bring... <laughs> We've been saying this <laughs> if with Ahmed Musa for years now. <laughs> no, for me, I think it, it brings pace, which will worry defenders. If he can be a little bit more composed, he's going he's, he's be a good player in this tournament for Nigeria. Key player. Mikel, no doubt, Mikel. And um, Omiru. I love him so much. Oh, for you? you keep calling Mikel, 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 <laughs> Mikel, Mikel, the bone of the team. Mm. I'll also go for Mikel. He's going to cement our midfield. He's going to act as a playmaker. He's going to be, you know, someone that plays for a big club. Someone that has that, um, his you know, his yeah, he's familiar. He's going to, you know, he knows their play and everything. And he has made it in the top ranking. And I think he cut his hair yes. recently, hasn't he? <laughs> uh, <so laughs> I, I'm just grateful. I <laughs> also look at Obrabuna, um, Mikel Obi, and Ahmed Musa. Okay, let's look at Keshi now. What's, what's, what's... Do you have faith in Keshi? I mean, he did it against all odds in South Africa. I do. I do, honestly, I do. Um, one thing Keshi has done for this team that everyone must appreciate is that he, 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 he overlooks the big names. He looked at commitment. He looked at players that could add something to the team. Hungry players. Tactically, I can't say every coach with his own tactics. I, I would give him um, a 60-70 then I'm um, looking at the Nations Cup when he had to sit no on the bench to play Sunday, but that was very very that was innovative. A big move. That was you know, a big move. so <laughs> I can say I'm confident. You know, I I I, I feel relaxed with Keshi. I'll give him my thumbs. Thumbs up to him. Yeah, are, you, are, okay. you, are you confident he's okay. going to do it this time? Mm, I would. There's say, a lot um, more home base players this time than yes, there were yes. at the Nations so Cup. Yes, we have like twelve or so home yeah. base players going there. Um, I would say Kachi is a coach that doesn't mind. He does what he feels is right. And that's one key thing when it comes to coaching. You have to stick to your to your guts, your mind. You know, just do what you feel. This is the right thing. And that was what gave him an edge when it came to the Nations Cup. People were saying, call Osaze. Call. I was among those that said, ah, why Osaze is our, you know, <laughs> and all that. But at the end of the day, he stuck to his point and he said these are the people I want and at the end of the day whatever comes out I take the credit and I take you the know the, the, credit, the blame for it so I, I see Keshi doing well but there should be unity mm -hmm. you know once there's no unity in that team and now we've started seeing the rancor and Concerning the, money. the team seems to be united against the officials. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> no. So we want, we want that unity in the field of play. Let them go out there. Let them have that confidence. Confidence kills it all. You know, once you believe in yourself, you say, I'm going there, I'm going to beat Brazil. Who are Brazil? Brazil, they are 19th on the Twitter ranking. Now. You know, can you, you, you can imagine. <laughs> it's Brazil. points ahead of us. It's, and it's, it's, you can it's imagine. Unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> so that is it. Brazil used to be the best. Those days, we remember Romario, Ronaldinho, you know, this 
understand? So now that is football for you. You keep going up or you keep coming down depending on how good your team is. So I believe that um, if Keshi does well, the team are united because. and they go out, they play with all their mind. Let them forget about the money involved. Let them forget about every other thing. Let and them give focus. their best. There's no doubt that Keshi